Hello and welcome. This is uh, Zeo Hero here. I've undergone a name change, so I'm gonna go ahead and apologize for that right off the bat. But I wanna let you know I'm the very same person who made the Masterclass Twisted League series. And I'm here again to bring you some more Leagues info, this time Leagues 2 Trailblazer. So let's go ahead and just read this blog post and I'll add a couple of little tidbits here and there. And then be sure to stay tuned to the end. I will have some links and some info for you guys you do not wanna miss. If you do plan on participating in Leagues, You'll want to listen to the end. Anyway, it's finally time to introduce you to Leagues 2, Trailblazer. In this approximately two-month league, you will start off as a fresh account on a separate game mode locked in Mistalin, where it all originally began. You must complete tasks to unlock more areas, but choose wisely. You can only pick so many options. As with the last league, the more tasks you complete, the more points you get, and the more relics you can unlock. Let's drill down in the details. We recommend you expand each section fully. I've already done that for you guys here. So let's go ahead and read about the rules. The area locks. You will start locked on Mistalin. You can unlock more areas by completing a fixed number of tasks instead of by obtaining league points. Of course, that's not quite how it was before. Anyway, couldn't really unlock more areas. But anyway, uh, your choice of area will be limited, so choose wisely. Curran and Kebos cannot be unlocked. Only the existing respawn points for areas that you've unlocked will be available. Death's Office, the player-owned house, random events, and the Essence Mines will be accessible from all areas. Tasks assigned by Slayer Masters will take place in areas available to you. Be warned, should you manage to somehow escape the area you're locked in, you'll quickly be teleported back. We'll be revealing which areas you'll be able to unlock closer to release. Iron Man, Iron Woman mode with accelerated XP race. Everyone will be playing as an Iron Man or an Iron Woman. There will be no trading between players. To accommodate the increased number of Iron players, selected shops will have more supplies and accelerated restocking rates. Everyone will have a five times accelerated XP rate. So it sounds so far quite similar to Twisted League. I'm sure there's gonna be definitely some baseline uh, characteristics to each league that are gonna be the same or similar. Um, anyway, starting strats, er, sorry, Starting stats, your fresh iron account will have basic stats along with Herblore at level 3, Agility at level 10. This is to enable the Drainer Rooftop Agility course and Herblore training. So in case you're kind of wondering how this is going to work, they're going to go ahead and tell you right here. Quest and Diary Unlocks. Quests and Diary tasks that would be impossible to unlock as they require access to inaccessible areas will be automatically unlocked. For example, when you start, you will automatically unlock the following quests. Druidic Ritual and Lost City. Now, Druidic Ritual, that's obviously because it's not within Mistalin. Uh, that's way out west past the Mistalin border. And Lost City, I believe you are required to leave Mistalin, the area of Mistalin, just to complete Lost City. But um, unlocking Lost City, it falls directly in line with some of the ways they're expecting you to be able to explore the Mistalin area initially. Uh, we can talk more about that at a later point. But let's go ahead and start talking about tasks. Tasks are a collection of goals and achievements that you can complete within the league. These span various activities such as skilling, obtaining drops, killing creatures, completing quests, and even playing minigames. Completion of a task will award league points that can be used to unlock relics and other rewards. Points received for completing each task will be subject to balancing but ultimately will be based on the tier of the challenge. Tiers range from easy to master. However, area unlocks will be gained according to the total number of completed tasks, regardless of points per tier. Obviously, because of how Trailblazer works, some of these tasks will be area specific. Examples of area specific tasks include entering the cooking guild, defeating Obor, crafting 50 water runes, or receiving a slayer task from Vinaka. Examples of general tasks include cooking 100 sharks, obtaining a mark of grace, equip a U short bow, or defeating a goblin. We've also tried to ensure that every area will have roughly the same amount of obtainable points so as to not sway your decision about which area to unlock next. Relics. Relics provide buffs with which you can customize your gameplay experience. Unlocked via league points, relics can offer XP boosts, buffs to combat prowess, additional luck on obtaining drops, which is a big one, or even specific skilling buffs. Now this 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 additional luck on obtaining drops, uh, there was a long discussion had. If anybody uh, here paid attention, I think I mentioned it 
in a couple of the videos from Twisted League, but there was far more that was said on this outside of that. Uh, essentially, the people would feel like they were totally uh, shafted if they picked a relic that gave you better luck and you still didn't get the drop. I can understand that. And so they didn't really want to give a relic regarding that. So it's, I'm very curious to see exactly how they're gonna uh, put this in. When you begin, you'll be presented with three free relics to choose from, allowing you to shape your strategy from the off. Don't stop there though, as the more relics you unlock, the more powerful the buffs become. For the first time in this league, each time you unlock a relic tier, you will also unlock a passive buff. That's pretty cool. There will be six tiers in total, which means there'll be six passive buffs in total? And there was four tiers in the previous, meaning four upgrades. So does that mean there's gonna be 12 different upgrades this time? So, which tier one relic will you choose from when entering Mithalin? Relic one, Endless Harvest. Resources gathered from fishing, woodcutting, and mining will be multiplied by two. Resources generated this way will not provide any additional experience. The resources you gather are sent directly to your bank if you have space. If not, they will be placed in your inventory. Relic two, Production Master. When doing the following activities, all items will be processed at once, awarding full XP. Smelting ores, smithing bars, making cannonballs, fletching logs, cutting bolt tips, cleaning herbs, making potions, cooking food, making jugs of wine, crafting leather, uncut gems, glass, jewelry, pottery, battle staffs, and spinning flax or wool. Relic 3, Skilling Prodigy. All non-combat skills will be permanently boosted by 10. When skills are boosted beyond 10 levels, the boost will, over time, drain back to the standard plus 10 boost. By the same token, when skills are drained down below the 10 level boost, they will eventually restore. Passive unlock. Your run energy does not drain. Hashtag no more walkers. That's funny. This is, this is one of those passive unlocks. So they say they talked about a relic, and for every relic, there's a passive unlock. I'm assuming the very first initial passive relic, or, uh, uh, passive unlock for the first free relic is your run energy does not drain. Assuming you go ahead and unlock immediately upon entering your first tier for free as listed above, you also will permanently have no more run energy drain. That's incredible. Anyway, that's only the beginning. Prepare to see a return of some of the old favorite relics and some incredibly powerful new ones in Leagues 2 Trailblazer. As far as the rewards go, if you manage to place among the top pioneers in Trailblazer League, you'll be handsomely rewarded. Now here you can see a table that looks 100% identical to Twisted League. But there's a little bit of a caveat. It says here below, <clears throat> many of you felt that getting into the top 1% was too easy in the Twisted League. <clears throat> Bullshit. So as a result, this time we'd like to offer a new target to aim for, the Trailblazer Trophy. This untradeable cosmetic trophy will be awarded only to those who rank among the top 100 in the league. Let us know your thoughts on this. Well, fine, go for it. That's my thought. Uh, top 100 though, cool little uh, thing on that. I believe it was only like 800 people uh, or 1,000 or somewhere around, it was like 1,400 point people that got into top 1%, which was Dragon here in the Twisted League. Now you're talking about 100 people. League to League rewards. As the name suggests, those who participate in the Twisted League will see these on your account when Trailblazer begins. If you weren't a Twisted League participant, fear not, you can earn these rewards for the next league. The League to League rewards are as follows. League to League pets. Any insured pets gained in the previous league will carry over to the next. Should you lose them, the League Tutor will allow you to reclaim your pets. Pets from the previous league will not count towards completing any pet specific tasks. League right click icons. A unique symbol representing the tier you placed in the previous league will appear when a player right clicks you. Now I'm, I'm assuming that's only in this new league and it's based on the tier you placed in from the previous league. I don't think that's a main game type of thing. Just so we're totally clear and transparent here. League Rank Worlds. Mithril Adamant and Rune League Rank Worlds will be accessible based on the tier you ranked in the previous league. If you ranked in the Adamant tier, you can access both the Adamant and Mithril Rank Worlds. If you ranked in the highest tier, you can access all of the Rank Worlds. League Armor Sets. Based on how you placed in the previous league, you will be awarded an armor set that can be used in the next. This would be a basic set of starter armor and a weapon with varying stats which can assist in the early league gameplay. Awarded armor will be no higher than Mithril, so as to avoid too much early game advantage. Uh, as they only affect the world specific to leagues, these rewards will not be pulled. Main game rewards. 
League points can be subsequently spent in the League Rewards store in the main game. These rewards will be cosmetic and tradable unless otherwise stated and will be blogged and pulled at a later date. As a reminder, if you have points left over from the previous league, you will still be able to pick the previous league's rewards in the shop. If you have any ideas on specific rewards you would like to see in this league, let us know. Let us let Jagex know. And here, they say basically that's it, okay? But I want to go ahead and tell you it says here, stay tuned on Monday, 5 p.m. BST, I think that's British Standard Time or something. Over on Twitch, uh, they're going to have some in depth discussions around leagues to Trailblazer, so be, for, be sure to check that out on Monday, August 17th. I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys how to get even more league information it says here discuss this blog on our official forums so they want you to head over to the runescape official forums if you want to discuss the blog and any of the uh, the league content they also want you to head over to the community led 2007 scape on reddit or the community led osrs discord and go to the uh, hashtag leagues channel um, for reference on the above content they also want you to check out the official wiki page now I'm here to tell you there's more places you can go. In fact, I don't want to tell you they're better, but I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I was involved in, in the Twisted League Discord, and this thing's got thousands of people in it, and it's so active already. This is three hours after, two and a half hours after we released this information, and it's so active already. I want you to go ahead and, and go down to the description of this video and look for the League's Discord. I'm gonna go ahead and link it there. I'm also gonna link my Discord. If you want, you can come to my personal Discord. I will have a League's channel there where we can discuss things, um, but it's not so much geared around leagues it's it's more for my content so if you don't want to miss any of my videos uh whether it be for normal runescape content or it be for this league's content if you don't want to miss those videos if you don't want to miss my streams i post everything that i do to that that discord there's a bunch of really cool people in there uh they're friendly but you know we're, we're people we have fun um and we like to go do some bossing and we do all sorts of stuff together so if you want to be a part of a little bit of the community there and you want to get more involved and some of the things that I get into, head on over to my Discord. Again, link will be in the description. And I want to say one last time, um, yes, my name changed. I was Zaya Hero. I changed it to Midnight, which is my main's name. And I did that to more accurately reflect you know, who I am. I am the content creator providing to you. I didn't want to be known as Zaya Hero because that's not my main account. I wanted you to know who I am and who I've played this game as for the last 15, 20 years, however long it's been. So anyway, thank you guys for hearing my ramblings at the end. I appreciate it. And I cannot wait. I hope you guys are as excited as I am about this new league, Trailblazer.